Whether you're looking to add new features to your car, such as Bluetooth or USB, installing a serious audio upgrade, or simply replacing a faulty CD player, upgrading your vehicle's head unit is a very rewarding project. Now, many late model cars, including several Holdens, Fords and Mazdas, have fully integrated dashboards, which can make replacing the head unit difficult. AirPro manufactures a number of vehicle-specific kits to help you out and can be ordered in through any of our stores. To install your new head unit, you'll need a small socket set, a screwdriver set, electrical tape, wiring harness adapter for vehicle and head unit, dashboard installation kit if required, and any special tools that you'll need to remove the factory head unit, again, if required. Once you've chosen the model that's right for you, remove it from the box to ensure you have everything you need to install it, such as the faceplate and mounting sleeve. Disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Next, remove the old head unit from the dashboard. You may need to remove some surrounding trim to access it. Now, if you're unsure how to remove any trim, a detailed workshop manual is highly recommended. On the front of some head units, you may see two slots or holes on either side. These form part of what holds the head unit in place and may require those specialist tools to remove. Disconnect the wiring harness from the back of the head unit. Simply press down the tab to remove it. Now is an ideal time to check the harness adapter you purchased is correct for your vehicle. Disconnect the antenna. Make sure you're pulling on the connector and not the wire, as this may damage it. Then, prepare the new head unit to be fitted. Depending on how the original radio was mounted, use either the cage, which involves using the metal sleeve that goes around your radio, or use the factory brackets or brackets supplied with the new dash kit. Plug the wiring harness adapter into the factory plug and then plug the new head unit's harness into the brown and black connectors on the adapter. Slide the new head unit into the dashboard location. Connect wiring harness you prepared earlier and plug in the antenna. Reassemble the dashboard. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and switch the unit on to ensure all functions including radio, USB, front and rear speakers are working correctly. Ensure the unit switches off when the key is removed. Enjoy your new head unit and remember, we're here to help.